And we have developing news. You are looking live at the wreckage of an Amtrak derailment in Ventura County. The train loaded with summer travelers slammed into a truck in Moore Park and derailed. Miraculously, no one was killed, though the driver of the truck that caused the crash was seriously hurt. It happened in Moore Park. The Coast Starlight was headed to Seattle, one of Amtrak's longest and most spectacular routes. Well, tonight we have new information about how this unfolded. KCAL News reporter Tom Waite live in Moore Park at the scene with the latest as mm -hmm. we know it right now. Tom? Hey, good evening to you, Pat and Juan. Well, as you said, it is kind of miraculous that no one was more seriously hurt in this horrific train accident. Take a live look. You can see the crews are out there. You can see the lights in the distance. They're trying to get all these rail cars off the tracks and out of the area so they can reopen this area. But that probably won't happen until tomorrow afternoon. Meanwhile, passengers back at home tonight trying to get on their way to where they were trying to get to after a very scary morning. Into the evening, crews worked on the damaged and derailed Amtrak train cars in Moore Park. The wreck has to be removed before this stretch of track can reopen. Hours earlier, terrified passengers were scrambling to escape after the train collided with the Ventura County Public Works water truck that somehow ended up on the tracks at the time the train was trying to pass. Passengers described the harrowing scene. Out of nowhere, a really, really severe impact and then a bunch of jolting and things flying through the air. And then I saw that that big yellow tanker literally fly through the air. Lindsay Millington was with her son on the train bound for Seattle. It was just after 11 a.m. when the crash happened. Initial impact, uh, he went right into the table. You're okay. Yeah, but my ribs are hurting a little bit. We were just cruising along and all of a sudden there was a big bang. And then the car started kind of teetering up and down and then left and right. And it smelled like gasoline. Dust was flying. It was very terrifying. It was bracing against the seat. Amtrak says there were around 200 passengers and crew on board. 15 people were taken to the hospital. All except for the truck driver had mostly minor injuries. Some folks on scene said they had neck and back pain. Paramedics used color-coded wristbands to help them figure out who needed help the fastest. We were eating lunch on the train and all of a sudden the train crashed and we were thrown all over and I got hurt. I went back and forth and everywhere and hit the table and it was just, yeah, it was pretty scary. How this happened is still unclear. Wednesday evening, a spokesperson for the Ventura County Sheriff told us the driver was traveling northbound on the private frontage road in the water truck crossing over the railroad tracks when the train collided with the truck. The spokesperson says there is no information to suggest the vehicle was stalled, became inoperative, or stopped on the train tracks prior to the collision. The sheriff's spokesman said the driver is extremely lucky to be alive. He was transported to a local trauma center. His current condition is unknown. The ripple effect from the crash impacted hundreds of passengers, if not more. These passengers had to switch to a Metrolink train and were dropped off in Moore Park, not far from the crash scene. Many confused and unsure of when or who would be picking them up. We got to LA Depot. They said, everybody off. You're going to get on another train and then get off at Moore Park and take a bus. And so we get here and there's no bus, so we're waiting to see what happens. The text said, oh, call like 1-800-USA-RAIL rail or something like that. And the it just was like the like a deadline, like beep, beep, beep kind of thing. It kind of seems like yeah. you're dead in the water here. Yeah, right? none of us know what's going on. And those passengers did finally get picked up from the train in Moore Park. As far as how this happened, I did follow up once again with the sheriff's department about why the truck got stuck or what happened, why the driver of the truck didn't see the train coming or, you know, just why he ended up there. Those are still questions they're trying to figure out right now. He was able to speak with paramedics at the scene, but again, he was severely injured. As far as the scheduled train service for tomorrow, the Pacific Surfliner train service north of Los Angeles, well, that is all impacted, as far as we know, through tomorrow at least into the afternoon. Reporting from Moore Park, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL News.